Hey, what's up, guys? This is a continuation of a video I did almost a year ago. Uh, so basically, 10 months ago, I wanted to do a video. And I thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool if I just put together, you know, haphazardly how Daft Punk made one more time, how they had the backing track or the sample or whatnot. And it was pretty cool. And fast forward 10 months later, it went viral and it currently has 1.5 million views. And it was on the front page of the internet and stuff and that was pretty shocking and I l looked back to the video and you know it wasn't too great I didn't really explain it well and I kind of haphazardly put it together and it sucked um, and that opened up the video to a lot of debate and you know I was called a hipster which is cool I guess um, so in this video I'm going to go through it and uh, break it down even more and we're going to take a look at it so this is the original track um if you don't know what this is what's wrong with you One more time. right so that backing track never mind the bass or the, the ebay or whatever they use the bass guitar this was made with this <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you, uh, def the, the actual hook is made with one, two, three, four, five parts. Five samples made from Eddie John's More Spell On You. It is this one, um, this one, and that leads into this, and which leads into this which is loop faster, which is led into this. So it would be kind of sort of, you know, just show you, does this. And then that, how it goes together. So they got it from, here, let me just turn these off, from this part here. So this is that, this is the, the, more spell on you right here and they got it from this part sounds a bit different because they have something called a high pass filter which high passes things uh, a bit crusher or a rate reducer and then EQ to kind of boost it up it also has, if you can hear it, a bit of uh, chorusing and uh, like a stereo imaging effect. That's because it was mastered by a guy named Nils, who is no longer with us. But he mastered a lot of uh, the Daft Punk stuff, so that's where that kind of sound came from. So we'll, uh, we'll A-B it. So this is uh, the original from One More Time. And this is from the sampled material. Kind of put together, you know, it's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty close. Uh, we have that. And then we have this. And then we have this guy. Right? Uh, these all have a different uh, high pass filter curve. So don't worry about it. And then we have this. And then we have this. These are all roughly the same pitch. I tried my best. Right? And that together creates uh, one more time. Um, so hopefully there won't be too much more debate. My phone's going crazy. It's it's been It's been going crazy for days because of that video. Holy crap. But yeah, I hope hope this inspires more of a healthy debate uh, and you can really see it and you know it's not just you know some kid in a basement putting it together it's another kid in a basement putting it together uh, so yeah that's basically it um, I make EDM dance music techno house tutorials uh, using Ableton Live I do reviews I do course material 
and it's all free and stuff. I hope you subscribe and share the video. Um, I stream and I do a lot of other cool things, I hope. Um, yeah, all right. Well, hope you learn stuff. I hope you have your minds blown again like last time. Even though I really didn't do much, um, I'm not the person who made this track. Uh, Daft Punk is. They're the geniuses. I'm just some weird interpreter. All right, I'm done. Uh, take care and have a good one.